as I prepared for this week's video, I had a major breakthrough. I journaled for the first time in a long time. You see, prior to the pandemic, I was spiritually in a good place. And then my world collided. Not because of the pandemic, rather things my family went through on more levels than one involving different family members, one being myself. So let's just say this journaling session was way overdue. It only came out of resting at the Lord's feet and actually was short-lived. I had a major prayer for a friend transpire. In the week before, I felt the Lord realign me. Let me emphasize, he didn't ever leave me, nor did I leave him. My headspace, my listening ear had been cloudy. I couldn't shake it. I'd been doing some of the same things prior that normally formed my spiritual practice. I say this to share, I had to just be okay with it. I couldn't beat myself up or be mad. I knew eventually things would come back around. This week and last week felt good in his presence. I want to be there, yet I want to learn and grow where he has me branch off because I know it's good not only for me, but for those around me, meaning you. Two things outside of prayer, reading my Bible, listening to worship music, and this week, journaling, I started listening to two podcasts. Now keep in mind, I listen to podcasts all the time. Artist podcast, leadership, disciple, entrepreneurial, and more. I mentioned a few weeks ago listening to a friend's podcast, Dr. Jen Bennett. I've been doing so since then. She's had the podcast for over a year, possibly going on two years. Keep in mind, she started this podcast in the season of muck for my family. Just like I said, I, did, I didn't journal. I would not been able to do a lot of things or keep up with what a lot of other people were doing. So her podcast is one of the two things. The other thing is another friend's podcast. I actually went to church with this friend several years ago, but her and her family moved to El Paso. She also just released a book called Women and Work, which is the name of her podcast. Her name is Courtney Moore. Funny thing being, I connected Courtney and Dr. Jen Bennett several years ago, and it was... I'm certain that it was before the pandemic because we were in the book world together and their message and alignment and gift for the kingdom is so close that I just knew they had to meet. You don't want to sit with mom? These two podcasts have been ministering to my heart. I'm very thankful for these two ladies and the work they are doing for the kingdom. I'm also grateful for the Lord paving a clear mindset for me as I'm walking very far on the other side of those things that took place for my family during the pandemic. This week, we continue carrying out the Untold Stories cardboard series. Today's featured piece is titled Yellow Curve. It was a 12 by 8. It was the second one in the fifth of the Untold Stories cardboard series. It is made of acrylic paint, markers, and colored pencils. Stories you don't want to touch, touch with words because they bring feelings no one wants to tend to. Fix, help. Some things just don't need fixing. They need to be lived out in silence. Normal days. Where the birds chirp, where your grocery list lays in your lap and the guy's next to you eating his lunch. You skip to the next task for the family. It's where strength is found. 
It's amazing what time will do, healing, restore, help you seek to find those left behind, or the ones no one ever knew went missing. Time isn't wasted, even when you are unsure of the outcome. Stand on a hill. Look out into the lands with your hand across your face above your eyes. Think of those you haven't seen since the 19th year of 2000. Embrace the memories. Cling to the before and know God never left you. I'm pretty sure you didn't leave him either. Take a stance. Rejoice. Ask him to come in once again, but first you must knock. Show up slow and steady. Pray the prayer for the friend that needs to be done. And while you're at it, pray for yourself too. Someone out there does give a crap. Yellow Curb was created amongst, after the first layers of the series had been created that afternoon. I began after I ventured on my day. The excitement of the series taking off gushed over me. The more I drove, trying to complete my task, I'd see things out my window. Those things became my inspiration for naming the piece in the series. Yellow Curve was the first name to be picked. It's a second piece created in the series. I worked on it after dinner. Fun, relaxed, refreshed from the day. The texture, layers, jagged edge has my heart. I have to say, it's one of my favorite in the series. In closing today, I'm thankful that you are here. I'm thankful the Lord has led you to be on this journey as I have shared this cardboard series. Share my thoughts, my process, my untold stories. May you be encouraged on your own journey 